After undergoing surgery and chemotherapy, Gabe Belanger looks over his PET scan results with Dr. David Webster. This test drastically changed his prognosis after a CAT scan showed cancer in his liver had spread. The CAT scan reveals that I've got four tumors aggressively, very aggressive. Then, you know, like, uh, I'm not going to make it, type of thing, you know. So I was pretty discouraged, you know, my wife's crying, all the kids are devastated. He was told to get his affairs in order and was given three to four months to live. To satisfy myself, I went to uh, uh, Mr. Saga for a PET scan. It's a private clinic. It's not covered by OIP. So it's quite expensive. It's $2,300. But maybe one of the best investments Belanger has ever made. Although CAT scan results showed what the radiologist thought was cancer progressing in his liver, the PET scan showed it was actually scar tissue. The test also showed a new tumor in a different part of his liver. There's that little spot right there. That's actually the new cancer. Now, Many cancer doctors believe PET scan is by far the most effective way to detect cancer cells in the human body. It has become a standard procedure around the world. In Canada, it's covered for cancer patients in Quebec and Nova Scotia. PEI is also sending patients to Sherbrooke and paying for PET scans and travel expenses. BC is installing two public-funded PET scanners. And Alberta has agreed it is critical for cancer patients. But in Ontario, the Ministry of Health says PET scanners are still experimental and is conducting a study. PET has shown itself to be cost-effective across the entire world, and that's why private insurance companies in the United States paid for almost 600,000 PET scans last year, not because they're concerned about the patients, it's because it's cost-effective. It helps them treat their patients much more effectively and at lower cost. Belanger knows that firsthand. Oh yes, it's very accurate, you know, no doubt about it, you know, CAT, CAT scans, uh, it's more of a guessing job, a guessing work for the radiologist, as if PET scans, there's no guessing, it's there. But Dr. Webster says the Ontario government's official position is that there is no evidence that PET is effective in managing cancer patients or in changing their outcomes. For the government to continue, it's an indefensible position that the evidence is not there. It's clear the evidence is there. For them to continue this totally indefensible position, I believe, is unethical. We're lacking a lot from, others, uh, from other provinces. Uh, four or five provinces have it. Why can't we have it? A question Webster and Belanger say they will continue to ask the Ministry of Health. With his next surgery booked in February, Belanger is happy to get back to running his car dealership. He feels fortunate a PET scan may have saved his life, but wonders how many patients will die because they couldn't get one. Alana Toth, MCTV News, Sudbury.